What else do you need to see, girl? Do you want to lay eyes on the corpse before you act accordingly? My sweet people. I hope you're doing really well this week as usual. I'm wishing you well. Last week we did a movie that I absolutely loved. I highly suggest everyone who has not seen Sick to go and watch it. It's such a good time. Uh, uh, trigger warning, it's COVID. <laughs> so um, it might be too soon for some. It certainly was quite soon for me, but I still really enjoyed the movie. It's Kevin Williamson. It's very, 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 very good. And um, yeah, I love y'all for suggesting it. <sighs> this week. We're returning to franchise land y'all. I don't even know how many Friday movies there are but after I finished part three of Friday the 13th y'all told me that part four is definitely a good one that I shouldn't give up and I should just keep going. Y'all know it's a bit difficult for me with just teens getting knocked off and the final girls don't really give it an oomph but uh, I actually really I enjoyed part three and I'm curious to know why this one is one that y'all think I'll really like. I think there's supposed to be some sort of character consistency going forward and not just line them up to knock them down so I'm excited. <laughs> Friday the 13th part four the final chapter. However we know it's not because there are many many more after this. This one came out in 1984. I guess we're going back to Crystal Lake, y'all. Let's see what it's given. I don't want to scare anyone, but I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. Oh. We're looking at part two. <laughs> if you listen to the old timers in town, they'll tell you he's still out there. Got it, Dan? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Our prophet. So legend has it that Jason saw his mother beheaded that night. He took his revenge. Many times over. They love a good recap, as if these movies didn't come out like bam, 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 one year after another. <laughs> Relentless. And yet, <laughs> you see the picture clear as day. <laughs> Abrupt. <laughs> what do this be? Are we starting at the end? Bodies. Y'all getting your fingerprints all over the evidence. <laughs> I guess it's 84. Gonna cover Jason with that little sheet as if that'll hold him. What do you need? What do you need? This time he got seven kids and three bikers. This time they got him. Yeah, right, officers. <laughs> Girl. Ah! Ugh. Why is now so long? It's called intuition. Get some. Yuck. Y'all don't have more gloating? I have to go right through the hospital and let all the victims see him? Mm -hmm. Ew. Double more over there. Why are the morgue workers always like this, eating around the corpses? Was. Well, she still is. Disgusting. All you gotta do is go over there and take a Nice talk. Real nice talk. Y'all should stab him. Put him under a sheet. Despicable. Yuck. I'm free, doll. Girl, what is the appeal of this man Axel? who eats egg salad off of a corpse? Axel. Disgusting. Oh, Axel. Girl, you finna get Voorhees. Axel? <sighs> that didn't even scare me because I knew he was a shenanigan puller from Git. I really came to watch the news. To answer your question, yes. The man responsible for the murders in Wessex County is at this moment in the Wessex County Medical Center board. Girl. Yuck. <laughs> Apparently they can take away her dignity. Cause this is foul. He's foul. Ooh. Holy Jesus God damn. <laughs> you better get that sucker in the icebox. That must be nuts. Yeah. You are girl. The lack of self-respect. To fuck a loser in front of a corpse? Shame. <laughs> Bad at your job, taboo. Girl. <laughs> ugh, ugh, it's sawing you. Get lost, Axel, I'm busy. I've had more than enough of you for one night. Read my lips, leave me alone! His hand. 
hand is giving werewolf. Exactly, mother. A bunch of juicy victims for Jason to sink his little teeth into. I'm sorry. You call her blowjob Betty? <sighs> Throw him out the back. <laughs> Why are you getting advice from somebody stupider and uglier than you? <laughs> it says you're a dead fuck. What? A lousy leg. The computer. So rude. Yeah, well, there is no computer. Like I said, the computer don't lie. He don't know nothing. I mean, I don't either. I don't know why she broke up with you, but this thing is despicable, so brush him aside, please. Now Pamela's grave. Pamela, why are you buried here? Who did that? Straight ahead, two miles. Hang around. It's the newest stone in this plot, too. Oh. Oh, that's the girl. Sammy, where are we gonna put her? The 80s were crazy. Y'all lived crazy. <laughs> She's so real and he's so fucking nasty. I hope Jason takes him first. He called you a dog unprovoked. Eat your little banana. Exactly. <laughs> You didn't even let her swallow that bite of her nana. Oh, <sighs> leftover tuna salad and orange juice? No, not sure. Aww. How cute is your little family? What if your dinner is nasty? Let him in. You don't want Jason to get him. And by you, I mean I. I don't want Jason to get that dog. Alright. You're dead fuck. I really, really don't want you to call me that. He's so rude. Hey, Jason, you want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You don't know what they saying. I didn't say that. Uh-uh. This Goonie is a peeper. Hey girl, why are you changing in front of the window? <laughs> <laughs> he is losing his little mind. <laughs> Close his blinds, the devil's getting in. <laughs> Go with her. You ain't getting nothing nasty. Now why would you volunteer to go back on your own, Saintly Sarah? You should have stayed with the group girl on this spooktastic trail for no reason. Ooh. I would start running. <laughs> Uh -oh. They're already there. Why'd you go get the car? Come on in! Oh, no. <laughs> no we, we have no suits. Get it in. Wow. Live free. Girl, I'm sure you pay for those swimsuit fell. <laughs> you can at least put them on the bank. This is a lot of nudity for this little goonie to happen upon. I mean, nothing wrong with the naked body, but I do think it's a bit much. Cause y'all are trying to be sexy with it, and that's a child. Turn around. Oh, come on, can I just turn around? Hey, Trish. Bye bye. Come on, Glenn. You're too young for this. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. Oh, Lamaze. He's close. Can you fix it? Oh, I need screwdriver. He's a car repair man? <laughs> Girl, you could at least get out and help them. Come in, Sam. I'm sitting back. Oh, saintly made that. Come on, Sam. Sam, I said no. Well, then I'm gonna go under and stay under and tell you to. Stop. If she don't want to do it, y'all can't make her do it. You know she's saintly. <laughs> don't drown over nothing. Sam! Sam! Personally, I would let your lungs fill with water because this is nonsense. Sam! <laughs> Nobody asked you to do all of that. Sam! Sam! <laughs> you making her curse. <laughs> mm mm. Girl, if you don't get the hell out this car and help your little brother. Oh. Hello. Hi, what's your problem? It won't start. Uh, the only thing it could be is a solenoid. He knows a lot about cars. What the what is a solenoid? <laughs> you need a lift? I'm just gonna pick up the strange man. I think anyone lived this thing once. What are you hunting for out here? Bear. Anybody up with a lake today? You can't be hunting for bear. Are there any kids, vacationers, people like that? Yeah. What is his deal? <laughs> is he Jason hunting? Like bears? Bears? Really? Just you and yourself and that little rifle hunting bears? Would you like to come in for a minute? No, I don't think I can. Well, you've got to come in. Okay. Y'all are quite persistent with the strange er. Tommy, who's your friend? Y'all just bring a strange man into my house and take him right up to your bedroom? Hmm. He is so talented, mask maker, car enthusiast, Goonie extraordinaire. Amazing. Come here, I want to show you something. Look how excited he is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's so enthusiastic. I like that kind of thing. <laughs> he's so joyful. <laughs> Feeling himself. Wanna give Teddy Bear a kiss? I mean, y'all could have let him song finish at least. <laughs> Ugh. Teddy. He is so Teddy. aggressive. I drink. Disgusting! I can't stand his ass. If Jason doesn't show up soon, I will be disappointed, actually. You like slow dancing? I could learn to. What? Kissing is cool. He's shameless. I'm sorry, but that nerd is the best one. <laughs> like, easily. Hands down. Listen, if it, if it gets too bad out there, or if you want to take a shower, we're always home. And uh, if we're not, Tommy usually leaves the door open. You're giving a lot of information to a man you don't even fucking know. I'm sorry, but I just find this quite intense. Like, you just met this man on the side of the road, and I know it's 1984, but get a grip, bitch! <laughs> she is all over your boyfriend, girl. Yeah, mind you. Actually, I was thinking about taking a little swim. Sam. Sarah, it's my business. What? That's her friend. She can't go comfort her friend who's getting cheated on right in her fucking face. Are they not together? Am I confused? I guess it's casual. And he's shameless. <laughs> Girl, why are you giving duplicitous eyebrow? Paul? I know you're out there, Polly. Girl, why are you giving him so much credit? Taking your panties off first? For why? To not even confirm who you just got naked for? Wow. Okay. Another death, titties out. Y'all know I hate that. Why would she swim out and get in this thing naked? Am I the odd one? Because I don't understand. Come on, Paul. I know you're out there. Stop it. It's given desesperado. I do not like it at all. Ooh. Oh! He stabbed you through the bottom of that little floaty boat. Of course I'm not. I can't go through with this. He's stupid. A chomp. A loser. <laughs> like, 
like, are you for real? You took it this far. But all of a sudden you can't. <laughs> Your girlfriend is already dead. I don't understand. Why is she going from boy to boy like she's playing duck duck goose? Are y'all thieves? Is this a trap? I don't get it. It's definitely giving honey trap. Something is up. <laughs> She sullenly posing up to him. Okay. Yuck, the same exact disgusting and pathetic line. Ugh. Good luck making it, dummy. Ugh. He loves a good dick stab. This one got a harpoon. He is definitely after Jason. Ain't no way in hell you out here hunting bears with a machete. Don't you have a gun though? Why aren't you just taking that blade? Oh. <laughs> he came about to tear up your map and snap your rifle in two. <laughs> Dumb bitch behavior. You don't have what it takes to hunt this man. You need to pack it up. This is a neat room. Why is she so in need? Oh. Well, look what I found. Real to real porn. <laughs> she is so mean. Cause one thing that shocks me about these movies is that the entertainment is the deadest thing, and they'll be like, <laughs> "What is so hilarious about this?" You know, gotta go. You go. I'm gonna leave without you. Take an umbrella. I really don't understand their aim or their relationship, but I guess it doesn't matter. You swapped. Oh. Oh. I went upstairs. You tired? No. Do you mind sleeping in the bottom bunk tonight? Why? You want to sleep in the top? Oh. No. That little movie is doing something for you? Girl, get it in quick, cause Jason is on scene. <laughs> Y'all better run to it. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. Now these three I do feel bad for. They just out here trying to live their lives. Holly? Trish? Anybody home? Hey, why would your kids not be home? What's there to do out here? Scour the wood in a storm? She was genuinely asking the dog where the kids were. <laughs> She's funny. Miss ma'am, I don't like it. You don't have an umbrella or nothing. Go in the house. What if you get struck by lightning? No, oh, Jason. Watch it. Where are y'all out? Your mama is back at the homestead getting Jason boreased. Girl, you do not have time for these dainty virginal preparations. If you want to get it in, you better get it in quick because <laughs> death is upon thee. Mom, we're home. Uh, uh, I just walked in with you, sister. How would I know where the mother is? <laughs> but the answer is murder. Mom? Mom? Well, maybe she's still judged. She's never gone this long. And in the rain? Me too. No, you stay here. Splitting I'll up? Stay here and fix the lights. Crazy. And why is he the handyman of the home? He has to do everything. He is a young kid. Don't leave him. Nobody even has a raincoat. You're just gonna take refuge in this stranger's setup? Do you know that these are the Jason Hunter's things? What's his name? Rob? I think that's him. That's not Jason, because this man has hair. Why are you slashing? What are you doing here? What are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask this question. Not in those words, please. Wish I had dead. Fuck. Why did you ask it like that? There are better ways to get a progress report. <laughs> she gonna rob you? I seriously am curious. She seems sincere though. I'm glad for you. You're about to die, so this is like very good for you. Why are you running 
this through your computer, teddy bear? Don't. This isn't the way. <laughs> it was great. That is so gross. Get her panties back. Do you know how expensive panties are? Where's that, uh, that Ted? He can't hear anything hey. because of the silent movie? <laughs> It's very unfortunate that you got it before Ted. Girl, put your pants on now. I don't want you to have to go out crazy. Exactly, y'all's double mint twin bikes are still there. She did not leave. Please, ascertain the gravity of the situation. <laughs> How did he get up to that level to throw you out the window like that? He is actually ridiculous. Sandra was just a really great kid. The man that killed your sister. Dead. Definitely not dead. Jason is a child, right? Described by a would-be victim, right? But he's dead. Girl, get with it. Don't you live at Crystal Lake? He resurrected. Two people at the hospital are missing. You better get on his vigilante train. Cause he already got your mama. Stop it. Stop this right now. Flip that switch or stay in the house in the corner. Why are you being the Goonie detective? Nice. I'm actually happy for y'all, but um, wrap it up. <laughs> so you want to give the old teddy bear a kiss? His shtick is so tired. Get with it, dummy. What else does he need to do in there? At least you don't have to die, virgin. I feel bad for him. He hasn't been obnoxious like the others. <laughs> what? You wanna double up tonight? Oh! Oh! He's crushing you just with the power of his werewolf hand. I came to hear you sing. Girl. <laughs> is Inspector Goonie the final girl of this movie? Who is gonna be alive when this is done? Oh, oh my gosh, you don't have a key? Why don't y'all break you the damn window? I'm gonna call for help. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this werewolf is ripping your phone lines out the wall. I'm not getting anything. I wanna go next door. I'm going with you. No. I'm going with you. No, you stay here, okay? And Why do y'all keep doing him like this? Uh, 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 lock the door? Hold the fort? You broke the fucking window, dummy. Gordon, where your ass been? You need to stay with Inspector Goonie, not be out here with us. We're already two. And do what? Be for real. Imagine knowing there's a killer on scene and leaving your little brother home alone. That is craziness, bitch. You are a bad sister. Stupid, stupid, stupid. One thing about this franchise, it relies on the stupidity of its participants, and I don't like that shit. <laughs> Give me somebody with half a brain, please. <laughs> Gordon, why are you spooked? You better go with his ass. This man is not your responsibility. I'm sorry, whatever he's out here doing, I'm, uh, uh, good luck to you. I have a little brother to protect. Girl, take your ass home. Gordon is pulling a Sally from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> He's jumping out of a second floor window to get the fuck away from y'all. Oh, I have so much respect for this dog. Whereas you, girl. <laughs> Drawing. <laughs> Do you need to see, girl? What are you hoping to discover? Do you want to lay eyes on the corpse before you act accordingly? Well, wish come true. What 
What the hell? Just foolish, just stupid, just. That is what's happening, Rob. Thank you for the play-by-play. -play. Bitch, if you don't go. Could've been home with your brother. Stupid. Girl, I know you're in shock, but put one foot in front of the motherfucking other. Why are you going back? Why are you going back to help a dead man? I mean, yeah, duh. <laughs> At least you swatted away his werewolf hand. <laughs> you couldn't step over that body, bitch. You were better off leaping over that double mint twin than sitting here trying to get through a crucifixion victim. <sighs> a hammer and nails, girl. You think you have time to board up all these glass windows? Don't fuck with this door. And even if he did, that little nail ain't gonna stop him. <laughs> Girl, check his credentials. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. You need to cut the lights and barricade yourself upstairs. It's your only hope. <laughs> don't be such a stupid idiot. There's a fucking. Uh, ugh. You going over there to check on a man who has a goddamn spike through his brain? Ugh, and now you have no weapon. But at least you got your brother. Ugh. Oh, good. Another shabby little wood door. Are there no windows in this room? He gonna be through that bitch in no time. I'm very sorry to this little goonie. Like, it is not his fault that his sister is so dumb. You plan to hit him once? He's been pronounced dead three times. <laughs> he always rises again. I agree that that's the least you can do to save your brother. Look at him reaching for his axe. He's like, which one do I want to take first? <laughs> Definitely this dumb bitch. She'll be easy to get. <laughs> Poor girl. I mean, I do feel bad for her. I don't want her to get stabbed, but like, it's kind of her own fault in so many ways. You keep waiting for him to come upon you. <laughs> oh, she went Sally too. Ugh, ugh. To die with her vagina out, I just, I hate that for her. Oh, she's alive, okay. Ooh, I know that tailbone is screaming. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be running like hell. Oh, he's trying to do some kind of psychological twist. Uh, baby, why are you hacking your wig? Uh, he's just waiting to, uh, grab it. Yuck, ugh. Oh, honey. Uh, uh, this is so elaborate. Uh, girl, you know he don't care about taking no blade. He's so beastly. <laughs> what are you supposed to be, Thomas? <laughs> is he supposed to see himself in you? <laughs> How does this ball cap help our situation? What is what what are you? Are you the young him? <laughs> Y'all, I thought we agreed not to look at the face. <laughs> why are you constantly trying to show it to me? And why does she drop the machete after? How does it look worse? How does it look worse? Ain't you gonna make your little brother do the killing, bitch? Quite upsetting. <laughs> Yuck. I guess all those axes to the face have really taken their toll, but <laughs> it seemed more... I don't know, just very different. <laughs> Decapitate him. I cannot believe this little boy is gonna have to go into sixth grade with no hair because you couldn't protect him. Wow, he 
he's the realest one. I hate this for him. What will he become? <laughs> well, girl, what do you expect him to do? Sit there and get killed? Let you get killed? If you had an ounce of integrity, you would take that machete out of his hands and do the hacking yourself. I feel so bad for that little boy, but I have a lot of respect for him. Often during extreme duress, people are capable of extraordinary behavior. That's what happened when your brother violently attacked the killer. <laughs> You think? It's perfectly normal for him to act to protect himself. Yeah. He's going to be just fine. Just fine? You're doing a lot. But, I mean, obviously he did what he had to. Because you couldn't and wouldn't. He's the real final girl, and I have no respect for you. Oh, <laughs> poor Tommy. Get him a little beanie or something. At least shave the head completely. <laughs> Y'all, what is that implication? <laughs> I don't like that. Disgusting. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, wow. The thing about these is like, yeah, they're entertaining enough while I'm watching them, but they're also very upsetting. I hate the complete lack of will to survive coming from every single character. These people are literally just lined up for the slaughter and they just lay there and take their deaths. <laughs> you can at least try to live. The fact that it was all put on this little boy, y'all know how I hate when they have a child, you have a vulnerable element and you leave them to have to do the killing. That is fucked up and disgusting. I am so mad. That sister is not worth a damn. I can't believe her. And now what? Now little, little Tommy, Tommy the Goonie is going to be what the new Jason? What is it? What is the situation y'all? It's just very upsetting. I don't know about this. I'm <sighs> well, another one down. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up on them yet because I want to get to some of the ones that y'all say you really enjoy which is Jason X and Freddy versus Jason so <sighs> another one another one down y'all once more into the fray talk to me about Friday the 13th and I I will see y'all soon <laughs>